Hello everyone and welcome to another Nuketastic tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to set up Eve Echoes on the computer using an Android emulator. I've been doing it a lot for several of my streams when we explore this wonderful new uh, universe of Eve Echoes and I want to be able to share this with you all so you have the opportunity to do the exact same thing. as. So first off, the first thing you're going to need to do is get an Android emulator on your computer. Now this is all up to personal preference. Um, I personally have gone with BlueStacks 4. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. Um, there are common, uh, the other two most common Android em emulators are Knox and Mimu. Um, these I have heard do have better performance than BlueStack 4. However, um, there are have been questions on these emulators whether they are using your machine to do um, to do a day, uh, Bitcoin mining, and so I decided to go with BlueStacks 4. The only downside with this is it's not quite as efficient as the other ones, as well as uh, there are ads, but the ads are pretty ignorable, uh, except for the giant Black Desert mobile one in front of you. So once you have BlueStacks 4 um, installed on your machine, all you have to do is open it up and download Eve Echoes. So let's explore BlueStacks 4 really quickly. Um, something I want to mention about with BlueStacks 4 is this is just like any other emulator. So if you go to the um, hamburger menu in the top right and then settings, it's going to give you a little bit of information about how many processors or how it's running currently on your computer. So if you're running through this and you want to say, hmm, I'm not getting the performance I'm expecting, it could be something where it's not using enough cores on your machine. And you want to go through and actually go up to a high use performance or custom. Um, maybe you want to change with the frame rate play around with the um, settings, but I, I kind of wanted to mention this because a lot of people who use emulators don't realize that these um, exist out there. So feel free to play around with this, get the settings to what you want. What I have streamed it on so far has been default settings, but I myself plan to play around with that to see if we can get more performance out of BlueStacks 4. Next thing you need to do is get Eve Echoes installed. For that, you can just go to the Google Play Store um, and set up an account and you'll just install uh, search for Eve Echoes as you see here. I already have a history of it. From here, you can find Eve Echoes and just install it. Once it's installed onto the BlueStacks 4, all you have to do is launch the game, which if we just exit out of the BlueStacks or uh, Google Play Store up there, open up Eve Echoes here. We will see um, that as we do launch this game, that what we got here is, um, what we have is uh, it launching a new tab. This is just akin to a phone where you're gonna have new windows popping up. You're always free um, free to start it as um, its own instance by enabling streaming mode. What this is gonna do is this is going to launch this, um, which let's see, let's pull this up really quickly. This is gonna launch this as its own um, window. Which is having a, um, so we don't wanna do that right now for this video. We're gonna keep it in a tab um, as seen here, but we're able to get Eve Echoes launched and into the game. Now, with that said, the only other kind of questions that people are going to have is, okay, so now I have Eco Eve Echoes on my computer. How am I actually going to, um, how am I actually going to work with this? How am I going to control the various functionalities that involve in a mobile game on a computer? Because, uh, frankly, that, you know, it may not make sense, you know, how to do it. So the first most basic thing is, tapping or clicking. So clicking your mouse is the exact same thing as just tapping on your phone when it's reading things. Uh, the next thing that kind of uh, comes to people is, okay, how about pinching? How about zooming in, zooming out? So typically on mobile devices, you're going to pinch by squeezing together and zoom out by squeezing apart. To be able to kind of get around with that, um, what you'll be, need to do is do control plus to be able to zoom in and control minus to be able to zoom out. You can tap or you can hold Either one, it doesn't matter, um, but it'll allow you to kind of do those features. So that's pretty much the gist of the tutorial. There's a couple video settings I want to show off inside Eve Echoes itself. But at this point, this should be enough to get you up and running and actually using this device. So let's go ahead, jump in here, jump into the character and kind of show you the settings that I was talking about. Um, because if you're running on a computer, you want to be running Eve Echoes at the highest graphic settings possible, correct? So to kind of do that, uh, we want to modify some of the default settings that um, Eve Echoes have provided the users and the players with. So once this game loads up, we'll jump right into that. Perfect. So if we click our portrait in the top left, we can actually go to settings 
And then from here, we can look at the um, graphics settings of this game. So the default of this is going to run you at um, medium graphics quality. You can actually up it to high. Actually, no, I, it's sorry. It starts you at low graphics quality and you can up it to high. It's going to make the graphics in the game so much better. And the fact that you're running on an emulator generally means you should be able to support this. Play around with this if it's not working perfectly. Maybe even lowering it if sometimes you're lagging or something could be useful. And then the last thing I did want to show you guys is the actual zooming in and zooming out in action. So for that, we're going to load up the ship tree. So we see, uh, let's go to a larger ship tree to explore, such as the Mimitar Republic um, in Rust We Trust. <laughs> so something simple in here is you can do a quick, again, zoom out, control minus, control plus to zoom in. You can also hold. So that's going to be other thing. Again, clicking is just tapping on your phone. So that's all I've got for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Hope this helps you get you up running Eve Echoes on your computer so you can uh, Eve Echoes while you do other stuff sitting in the comfort of your own desk. Thanks again for joining us for the tutorial and I'll see you all around. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.